forget to Marty. Hi. Are you jealous? Say hi to Marty. Well, Don is taking off down to the mailbox to get the newspaper. It's not raining too bad out here right now, which is why I guess Marty was at the back door. It's just sprinkling a little bit, not too bad. It's uh, 8.30ish. Hopefully these guys will just hang out in here today. Stripe was asleep in the garage last night. I got him on the ring camera. He's sleeping by Jules in one of the cat beds. He's a good boy. Yeah, Tux wasn't in there, so you might as well. Well, they're all good this morning. <clears throat> I Tux was up on the platform, and I set his food down on the way, and he didn't drop. He didn't jump down, so that's good. Hey, bud. Good morning. Doing good. It's my bud. I'll let you eat. It says I can't eat when you're rubbing my head, Mom. I don't know that we've got that much rain, but it's pretty wet. I mean, you know, the driveway's wet. We have had seven tenths of an inch so far. I have not looked at the radar yet. Hi, bud. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's chilly. It's in the 60s. I did unplug the kitty cat inflatable. There's Don. At least you got a paper. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, nothing real bad. Uh, definitely could tell the canopy's thinned out. Yeah, leaves. A lot of leaves, lot come, of leaves down. come down. Yeah. Well, it is um, you know breezy, but not not super much more than yesterday. Um, and the kitties don't seem too scared. At least not too scared to eat. Yeah, it's blowing around up there a bit. I really don't like wind. Really don't. Well, hopefully everything will be okay today. It won't get too much worse than this. Well, the rain has really picked up right now. Tux is asleep here on the platform. And I think at least Marty is asleep in the cat hotel. I'm not sure where Stripe and Morris are. Possibly the garage or the carport. So, it's going to be a windy, wet day. I don't like wind. Um, I really don't. After Fran and Hugo. Hugo and 89, Fran and 96. I just, these storms, I don't like them. This is nothing like that, but still. I am going to put this together. Um, I would say today, but since it's 3,000... I had it just a second ago. <laughs> it's 3,000... 231 pieces. I doubt I will finish it today. That seems unlikely. I would be surprised if I'm not at least halfway done with it though. So that's what I'm going to work on. This has a um, working elevator. You can power it up with a, a motor, but um, it also has a hand crank in it. This one you know, the original build, it has hinges, um, so you can open up and get in inside of it. It's called Manor Von Baron, and they have a story out on lego.com about it. Um, this is based on this kit that I'm going to build, but it's modular in that it the pieces lift off. There's no hinges. There's no elevator. It's very cool the way that I built it, and I also built it in lime green bricks. And I'm trying to remember what they call this olive green. This is olive green. So it, they'll obviously, they have share a great deal of similarity, but they're not going to be the same. Um, I won't be lifting heavy bins today. I won't be hurting my back. I won't be um, stressed out. This should be just a, a lot of fun to build. Yeah, it's probably worth showing you the back of the box. Um, you can see there's a hinge here and a hinge here, so it opens up to show all of the detail inside, which I think is a great building technique for houses. Modular's great, but if you want it to be playable and to really look at all the detail work you put inside, the hinges is well. And usually the chimney will be one of the hinges, um, and you can sort of see 
the um, bottom of the elevator here goes up to the top. So it's kind of an amusement park ride. It's pretty cool. I am going to save the box. All the boxes, I flatten them and they're up in the attic. They'll probably just get thrown out in 20 years, but um, I'm saving them. And I do have the instructions. I got to go grab it. I have the instructions on my computer. Um, obviously, there's a manual in here, but I think I like to read them off the computer better. You going to help? I know you're a good helper. I was surprised. There's a box within a box. Um, there's 18 bag numbers total. I don't know that that means that there's 18 bags like because this is a 7, huh, 16, 13. And I just assumed that this was all the early bags and this was all the late bags, but I think that's a bad assumption. Now I'm going to have to take them all out, <laughs> but that's okay. Anyway, all I was trying to say is there can often be more than one bag per number. I'm sure that's the case here. Um, although I can't prove it yet. Yeah, that's 13 and this is 13. So bag numbers, but actual bags, I don't know, but there's 18 bag numbers. I finished bag one. It didn't take too long. That wasn't that many parts and I am starting on bag two. Nighttime and I have come to an understanding, haven't we, sweetie? You comfy? Good girl. Well, bag two is done, and I'm getting ready to start bag three. It's 10.45 a.m. The rain has let up that last band a little bit from where it was. Um, and the winds are doing about what they've been doing. They don't seem more intense. I actually, Tux is down at the end of the walkway right now. Well, hopefully he won't stay down long. Does he see a kitty or something? He looks kind of upset. I guess I'll go opening the door and check on him maybe come on tux go back to your spot he's walking this way hey buddy come on come on buddy i'm right here so there's two quick connect pins here and they're in gold i certainly have never seen those in gold before and then there's also i don't know what this part is it's a you know robot part a technique part but it's um I don't know. I'm really loving the robot parts in this kit. The, the the gears, the building, the movement parts. As you put gears on, it's always a good idea to make sure they're free spinning. And it definitely is spinning properly. And this goes back and forth gently there. You can kind of see the movement. Well, I got bag three done. I'm fixing to start on bag four. You can see... One of the bigger gears for the elevator here, and things do appear to be spinning correctly. I'm a little worried, this one washer, there's like, I don't know, a millimeter of give there, but maybe I'll spread it out in between, in between them. Um, I did hear um, a couple of comments about how well the elevator did or didn't work in the forums, but... Um, you know, I've built with gears before. I think it'll work just fine. They don't ship stuff that doesn't work. I was also missing not a tan windowsill piece, but a white windowsill piece. And I looked really hard for it, and I didn't hear it fall or anything. I had one, so I just went and grabbed it out of my stash. It's 12, 10 p.m., and um, I'm done now with bag four. I am going to start on bag five, but um, Don and I had talked about having a little bit of a um, special lunch today. I'm going to make uh, chaffle egg and bacon sandwiches, cheese. So I'll be doing cooking and I'm going to saute some onions. I like onions on mine. Um, so I will be uh, cooking and building at the same time for step five. And the rain is back, and Tuck is sound asleep back where he I was able to resettle him before. But um, <clears throat> the rain is coming down pretty good right now. You can see you can see all the leaves down on the driveway. Totally expected. All right, this is some of the gearing for the elevator. It's on, and I believe it's correct. I'm doing okay. Bag five is complete. 
So Don and I finished eating. If for some reason I didn't cook any more today, it would be okay for us. But I do have some steaks that I can make either in the house or out on the grill later. Uh, according to WRL, we've had 1.16 inches of rain here in Fuquay. Um, I think that's probably pretty accurate. There's been some times when it's been raining pretty hard and sometimes when um, it's let up, which is normal for these tropical storms where the rain comes in bands as it, you know, goes counterclockwise in the low pressure area. Um, a real hurricane, a serious impact here type hurricane would be probably like 9 or 10 inches in 24 hours and that would cause some flooding and, and some problems where some roads would you know, have a big pothole wash out. Not like the kind of wash out you see at the beach, but would be. Um, but the two to five that they're calling for us, uh, which the heaviest is yet to come, is is fine. We shouldn't have too many. You know, you want to be out in the road right when it's pouring in one of those cells and a little road flooding, but, you know, after it has a little bit of time to run off, uh, <clears throat> it's no problem. We can handle that rain here. And certainly in our yard with the slope down front in the creek uh taking all that water away we we don't have even at 10 inches we don't have any worries in this house so we're good uh, they're still talking about 55 mile an hour wind gusts and a increased chance for power outages as the afternoon goes on i hope not um but it is what it is i know where marty tucks panther and gray are and they're all warm and safe um i think stripe and morris are also safe they just i don't i could not tell you exactly where they are and since they're hunkered down wherever they chose um i'm not gonna go out and try to hunt them up because um you know they know the, the cats know how to go hide in a safe spot and stay dry and uh, they could be uh, in the carport area or under the front porch or I don't see Stripe in the garage, but he could be in there somewhere. So, but so far so good. I suspect in the um, window behind me while I'm working on the Lego, you can see the breeze just a little bit. Stuff going on out there a little bit maybe. Yeah, the wind gusts are starting to pick up. I think my coleus is going to be pretty shredded by the end of the afternoon. I did have another month before first frost, but yeah. And the wind's picking up here pretty good now. I went out in the front porch and Gray was terrified, so I carried her to Johnny, but she doesn't know about being inside, so she's pretty stressed. We might just try to crate her in the bathroom. Um, Panther is hid in the gas grill cart next to the propane tank there's just enough room for him in there and i've known him to hide in there before and tux has lifted his head and looking a little worried on the platform out there marty's still asleep in the cat hotel i don't like it either oh jesus we just lost this huge tree in the front yard that's not good well we can't get out now even if we need to well, maybe it's not over the driveway. I can't tell. It might have damaged the driveway depending on how the root ball came out. I can't really see. We heard it. We had to put Gray back out. She was too freaked out in the house. You know, sometimes you try to do good and you do harm. Panther's over there and I think Gray's under the front porch now. Wow, that is really sad. That's a nice oak tree. Yeah, something's not right with the way the driveway looks over there. Although it just might be the, um, there was a piece of wood to hold the dirt in along the side of the asphalt and it might have just popped up. Dang it. Well, <laughs> go down, sweetie. <clears throat> bag seven is done and that's the front doors. And um, I'm working on, bag, start working on bag eight now. But yeah, the front doors are installed and the chandelier. And, um, you know, bag six was the piano. It's really coming along. So the piano side has the second story windows and, um, you know, structural uh, floor stuff up here done now. And I'm starting on bag nine, which I had accidentally opened up a while ago as bag seven and then set aside. But this is bag nine now. I've got midnight keeping me company now. 
So I just finished bag nine. It's time to start bag ten. Um, of course, this is the other side of it, and um, it uh, you know hinges in to form the house or opens up for play. It's looking pretty good. I'm pleased with it. It's going on 4.30 though, and I've been standing here since what, over 10 o'clock this morning, something like that. So I think I'm gonna take a short break and uh, I'll probably work on it a little more tonight, but I, I might, maybe not until tomorrow, we'll see. So it appears the lift station is on. Um, I guess other people don't have power. We currently still do. I uh, haven't heard anything else really large come down. We did have what we think was our highest gust just a few minutes ago. The sheets of rain were coming down off the roof and it just, it was, it was an intense gust. It's going on six o'clock so I wanted to come out one more time because we are starting to lose power. I see a very small eight inch diameter tree down in the woods over there or a large um, 
large um, branch. It's hard to say which. And I don't know for sure if Panther is still in the gas grill or not, but probably, and I don't want to accidentally run him out of there. Um, there's probably a couple more hours of intense gusts. So it's pretty, pretty scary. How are we doing? No, pretty good. The I rain is passed now. Yeah, and the wind's way down. I mean, it's a little, it's not still air, but it's not bad. How much, we, oh my goodness, that's over four inches. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah four inches exactly. Wow, okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, well, I don't think we're going to get any more, but that was four stripes here. He was the one that's been missing. Hadn't seen him all day. So I'm relieved to see him. There's Mark Man. There's Tux. We had Tux in the house for a good while because he likes it. Gray was like, put me back outside. I'll take my chances with the yeah, wind. Everything looks windblown. Look at the driveway. I saw that branch earlier. And my flowers. Yay! The, the, the limb that was uh, stuck from the last the last storm. We got a mess to clean up. Just kind of sad. Well, that's just the wind blowing the tree, though. You hauling one away for me? <laughs> he is. He's hauling one away. I know you can't see much. I want to go see the tree. I don't fall down the driveway. Oh my god, look ahead, Donnie. He's got his headlamp on. Look at all of the branches. <coughs> I've had this little cough thing going on today. Look at all the branches. It's so sad. I know there's people's got it way worse, but I've done cleaned up enough hurricanes in my lifetime. Well, what do you know? It's not blocking my driveway. You tried to say it wasn't. I thought that board was up in the air, but it's not even blocking the driveway. But the whole root ball's up. Yeah. And didn't damage the asphalt. Well, that's lucky. Nope. Wow. Here, look down. I can, they can only see whatever you point out with your head. <laughs> Ooh, deep dark. Oh. I messed up my rail. Right, your your border for the asphalt. Yeah. All right. Well, let's walk a little farther. Yeah, you remember to point at what I want to see. Oh well, it is one little tree's across up here. <laughs> I'm not happy. There's a big old wall. Yeah. Well, you know what happens with those? They tend to. St <laughs> they're so so heavy. Oh, I done cleaned up one tree across the driveway before. Hopefully that other tree there is not damaged. It looks pretty straight. It looks okay. I don't need to lose any more. Hi, Stripe. Don't trip Donnie. He's yeah. down there on the ground somewhere. He already tried to take poor Don out one time. Oh, well, I, 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 so I told people, I said, I think within an hour we could be down the driveway, right? Cut that tree, uh, yeah. the yeah, here, I, point here. I mean, we got to get this out of the way. Yeah. Obviously, there's stripe and some of the bigger branches. All right, I want to go a little further. I had, didn't get to walk nowhere today. I'm stepping over it, trying. Trying to step over it without going down on my butt. Hang on, I need both hands. So there's 280,000 people in North Carolina on Duke without power. There's a lot of people. A lot of most of them, I think Wake County has the most. I and mean, that would be A because we had a lot of wind and B the dense population. Well, is the rest of the driveway good? Yeah. Minus the Minus all the leaves down. Well, I apologize for the bad video. Don's doing the best he can to point his head at stuff. 
All right, let's turn around and look at it from this direction. Well, we've got our bridge lights on. I mean, that's the important thing. <laughs> yeah, but that's from the generator, right? Yeah, it's running off the generator. When you point your head down a little bit, is that a cat there? Or is that something in the yard? And no, that's a shadow from the branches. All right. All right, well, I think I was right. Within an hour, we could be down the driveway. That tree's not really on the driveway, just that one limb, that one branch across there. And, yeah. and, and, and walk it and throw stuff off to the side. Yeah, we'll send Johnny out with the chainsaw to ball boarding. Very funny. Yeah. Very funny. We'll up bright and early. Yeah, the creeks are running. We would have expected that. It's running pretty quick. I don't think I'm going to be too worried about the trash at the park for a few days. A few days? We got enough trash debris around here. I know. That's what I'm thinking. Jeez. You want to pick up stuff? There's plenty to pick up. Yep.